Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of our Satisfactory Let's Play. As you can see, the hub and all of the bins are gone from here. They have been moved. Also unlocked the rather lovely concrete skin for the foundations. So let us go over here real quick. And you can see our hub is now over on this side. We've got the MAM and the equipment, shed, tool, whatever the hell it's called. Um, we got that all set up. Um, don't worry about these. I'll talk about these in a minute. We're going to go take a tour of our starter factory. So as soon as we come in here, you'll see that the smelters are still over here, but they are now pushed farther back against the wall just to make it more compact in here. And then over here, since, uh, like I said in the last episode, I unlocked the cast screws. So I totally changed up the way we make uh, screws now. Instead of going from iron rods, two screws we now go just straight from iron ingots in two screws so each machine is now make well this one's underclocked but this one's making 40 a minute but all the other ones will be making 50 screws a minute directly from iron or, or iron uh, ingots that I have set up in a manifold just to make my life simpler and I didn't have to figure out how I wanted to split everything and then they are making screws which are heading up to the second floor where our assemblers are. And then over here, you will see a new line that's coming in that's actually from our miners that are up on the hill there. There's two more impure iron nodes which I've tapped into. I brought the belt over here down into the factory. So now we ha are making an excess of iron plates again. So these are being created here, and then they're going off into these bins over here. Um, which, also let me open up here real quick. And I've got these bins that have all of the goods that are being produced in this factory. Now coming out over here where they're easy to access. And you know, it just makes it more convenient where I've got everything in like one area that I can gather from. Let me go back inside real quick, we'll put this back. Oh, and then I also, here is the iron rod production. I've uh, done the splitting and merging together back inside now. So they are making 15 iron rods a minute, which are set, which I am sending over here to be merged into 30. And then I'm splitting it three ways and I'm sending 10 over to there to the bin. And then I'm sending the other 20 up to the roof where they are needed in the rotor production. And then over here, the same as before, it's just the three machines making iron plates, which are also going to the roof to help with our production up there. All right, let me get out of here real quick and we'll go upstairs. There we go. Don't mind the ladders, they are only temporary. And then up here, we still have our three machine. Oh my god. Uh-oh. I made a huge mistake. They are not lined up. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's alright. I'll fix that later. But So I've still got two making uh, iron, reinforced iron plates. And then the third one over here making rotors. Which are then being fed over into the bins down on the first floor. I've left myself a lot of room here because later on in the episode we are going to be making smart, let's see what the hell they call them, I think they're called smart plates, uh, I don't remember the actual name, yeah smart plating, we'll be making smart plating, and then we will uh, see what we'll be doing with that. So that is a tour of the starter factory here, let us move on to the copper factory. As you guys can see already, the shape is a little different. I uh, angled the roof there, and it actually has a proper roof on it. I've unlocked the roof tile. Also has some windows. Um, it's not completely windowed up because I ran out of quartz, since the only quartz I've been getting is just what I've been receiving from the random little nodes that are popping up around the world. 
So unfortunately, I haven't finished that. That's also the reason why the starter factory has zero windows in it. We just don't have any cords currently. So as you can see, the, the bins drop all the products out over here where they're convenient to collect. You know, it's just a short trip from going here or there to get the stuff we need. Also, I've got the foundation coming out at an angle from the cliff here. I thought that looked kind of cool. And let us go up top here and have a gander. Alright, we're going to go take a peek in the copper factory proper now. So, not much has changed on the inside. I think it I haven't actually moved any of the machines around or anything. But we'll go up to the second floor. We'll see what it looks like from the inside. With the walls all on and the windows and whatnot. Also, these stairs are getting ripped out. And I've unlocked the uh, catwalks which I think I'm gonna use in the catwalks and the catwalk stairs I'm gonna use I'm gonna reuse these instead just because there's it's so much better looking yeah I don't I hate these stairs and I don't think I'm ever actually gonna use them in any build ever anyways inside here it looks pretty much the same as you see we unlock the roof the actual roof so that looks nice uh, also, we got some windows, which there will be more of at some point, just to make it look symmetrical, so there's not just windows on two sides of the building. But this is what we've gotten up to so far, as far as cosmetic changes have gone. But for now, we're going to get on to actually making some progress in the episode. So, let us go over to where that giant slab of concrete is, and I wonder what we're gonna be doing over there. Here it is, this giant concrete slab. What could we possibly be doing with it? We are going to build the space elevator, finally, so we could unlock tier three and four. Let me uh, get it ready to go here. Now I had a spot where I wanted to line it up here. Let's see. Right, we're not hanging off the edges anywhere. But I think that looks good as far as where I'm gonna build our smart plating assembler. Oh, we'll be a little closer. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just leave it there. Alrighty, let us put this bad boy down. This is by far the coolest animation in the game. Although it takes a little while to get going here. All right, here it comes. so cool I love watching that this thing is a massive beast although we can move it at some point which I probably will uh, but for now it will be have its home right here look at that thing that thing is beautiful all right so now what are we gonna be doing also what oh it's trying to lay down another one that's <laughs> like what is going on here no we do not want a second space elevator thank you However, what we do need is we do need another assembler. Which we are going to line up the output with the center here, which... Too close, too close. Assembler. Oh, we definitely want it in the middle, though. Also, this uh, nudging feature is really handy that they added in Update 8. So yeah, when you when you uh, lay down, when you start trying to lay down a building, you can just hit H, and it lets you like lock the hologram, 
And then you could use the arrow keys to nudge it around anywhere you like. So you can get your layouts just the way you want them. I think that's centered, right? No, no, no it's not. There we go, that's what we want. We want it right there. All right, so now we can take the rotors and the reinforced iron plates that we've been making, and we can use them, some of them, to make smart plating, which we will use in our space elevator here. So we need to make 50 of these smart plating, and then we got to send it off via the space elevator. So let me hook these up and get that ready to go. Got everything hooked up and running again. Basically, just had to split the rotors in half, and then I had to just split off this. It's not going to be exactly because it's going to be sending two and a half per minute over to this assembler, even though it only needs two. So it'll be a little inefficient, but eventually this will back up and it won't be a problem, anyways. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get a bunch of rotors and some iron plates just to get it going that way we don't have to wait for it to do its thing all right so it'll be making those at two a minute but luckily for you guys through the power of editing you won't have to sit here and watch it Nope. Remember when I said I hope we don't have to make any more solid biofuel? Well, we ran out. So I've been having to reshuffle the amounts in all of the machines just to keep them all running. So I had to start up another line of production of solid biofuel. However, I've been making it out of uh, mycelia uh, right now, which is super efficient. I've got this underclock to 80%, so it's and it's still putting out 120 biomass a minute, so that'll keep this thing fully fed and making us 60 a minute. So hopefully we won't run out of fuel because we are almost at the point where we can make coal power. We just gotta wait for two more smart plating and then we are ready to go. Fortunately, they take forever to build. So I guess while we wait for the last one to be made, I did a little exploration while I was waiting for the smart plating to be made, so I went down and through here and checked this area out. It's a really cool, like, mushroom forest over here. And then I went down into this huge basin here. I actually found a bunch more copper here, which isn't terribly far away. I mean, I guess that's probably like a thousand meters, but you know, it's in the grand scheme of things, it's not super far away. So I actually have quite a bit of copper that we can pull into this copper factory if we ever want to expand it. So that would be something we can think about in the future. Also, I saw a, um, what, what did I see? Oh, I saw another crash site somewhere in this basin. So at some point I'll have to go get that, but it was super far away and the power died, so I ran back to base to try to sort that out. Also, we've got our 50 smart plating, so let us load this sucker up. And we're ready to launch it. Ooh. And there goes those 50 smart plating out to space. Awesome. So now tier three and four are unlocked, which we really need tier three because we need to get ourselves, also I could probably turn this off for the time being because I don't really care about phase two. So you turn off, thank you. All right, so let us go down here and see, oh, wrong one coal power. We need this very, very badly. So we need some rotors and we can unlock coal power. All right. Just 
select this milestone. Get that in, get that in. Cables in, and away she goes. Thank you, Ada. Anyway, so we're gonna go build our coal plant over in this area. So we have our three coal nodes over here, so we're gonna make use of those. And then we also have water right here, which is very convenient. So it'll be a great spot for a coal plant. Let me just make sure that we've got everything we need here, so. Production, I don't exactly know how many we're gonna need. We're gonna need like, I don't know, six of these. I'm gonna need like, let's go for 10 or 12 for now. I don't know the exact math on all this stuff, but I just wanna make sure I've got enough stuff to get quite a few going. All right, so we have enough rotors, we need some cable, reinforced iron plate. All right. Upper sheets and cable, and we are good to get out of here. Make sure we bring because the yeah, these things need copper sheets as well, so make sure we bring plenty of those with us. Cables, we have a million cables. Just a little bit extra, just in case. So let's make sure we have plenty of iron plates. Wire, screws. I'm missing anything. Now, let me make sure we get some extra rotors just in case because we barely have enough. Did I pull them all out? I did pull them all out of there. Thank you. Now, let us go see about making a coal power plant. Down here in the basin now, I've brought power poles with me. Now we just gotta figure out what we're gonna do to build our power plants. So we got the two, three coal nodes here. We're gonna tap into those and we're gonna bring them over towards the water here. I actually think I wanna build the power plant on the water. It actually looks really pretty here. So I think I wanna build the power plant like in the center of this. So I haven't figured out how I wanna do that yet, but let us get the power or the coal miners going been hooked up Kill these bastards real quick wait they still all right the one bites this no where did the other dude die there all right <laughs> First two coal nodes. Oh, another. Oh, another two friends. Jesus. Got you. Fuel with me. All right, hang on. I'm gonna have to fix that real quick. <laughs> All right, the trees are cleared. I've laid down pads for the three miners, and actually, there's a fourth coal node, although we can't access it currently. I totally forgot that one existed because it's got a huge boulder on it, which we don't have explosives for to get at that one, but. That is all right. I also decided that we're gonna overclock these to 200%, so we get 120 pull a minute out of them, which will let us 
do a much bigger factory right from the get-go. Also, uh, don't mind this. This is just me so I can line stuff up. But anyways, I think I have a general idea of what I want to do down here. I want to bring uh, the lines down here into the water. We'll have the water extractors obviously down in the water. And then on a layer above that, I want to do the coal power plants going out in like a circle around in the basin here. So I got to workshop exactly how I want that to look. But that is the general idea. Once I figure out that, I will return. I ended up having to go back to base to get more concrete. What did I tell you guys about always needing more concrete? Anyways, while we're up here, I wanted to show you our prototype. Ta-da! I ended up going with just a basic octagon. After many hours of fiddling around with road barriers, trying to get some cool design, this is what I ended up with. It's really simple to put together. You just take the foundation in the middle there, you rotate it 45 degrees, ta-da, octagon. Anyways, I want to swim. You know what? I wonder if we could launch ourselves over there. Give it a shot. Oh. Oh, yeah, we're totally going to make it. Totally going to make it. And we survived with half a heart of health. Oh, that's beautiful. I wish I planned that, but I'm not that cool. Anyways, so this is going to be the layout of the... Uh, I don't know, the foundation for the coal power plants. And then down below, I, I haven't really decided how I want to lay out the uh, water extractors yet, but that'll be coming soon. Also, I think I'm going to shift this entire structure down further so it's closer to the cliff, so probably like three or four foundations down this way. All right, we've been making some progress. Let me just give you a quick tour of what I've been up to. I've got all of the water extractors in. I haven't gotten them piped up yet, but I've got the ones that need to be connected together all together. I've got the wiring ready to go for this. And then let me go take a little tour upstairs to what we've been doing up there. All right, so I've got the coal power plants in. I've got all 12 that we're going to use initially, and then I've got spots for four more once we or get access to the other uh, coal node over there. I also did end up moving the whole structure back a little bit, and I also extended all of these arms out to five foundations instead of four foundations. So we're almost ready to go. I just need to pipe everything up and feed the coal over here. And we will have ourselves a coal power plant. All right. Theoretically, when I throw this switch, everything should turn on. All right. Nothing's broken yet. Okay. Okay. We're doing good. All right. So the miner's going to take a little while before they get the coal over to the plant. So let's go ahead over there and have a look-see. Got everything piped up and all the conveyor belts ready to go. Theoretically, like I said, everything should be working. However, I already had to fix one mistake. While I was doing the belts, I accidentally deleted both of these water extractors. Water in the pipes. These are full up of water. Alright. All of the machines that should be working look like they're working. Oh, now is a good time to explain this. So, in practicality, I only need nine water extractors. However, just to make my life simpler and with the way I have the factory set up, I have all of these underclocked to 75% because each whole power plant requires 90 meters per second, or per minute rather, and these at 75% do 90 meters per minute. I also have the extra ones laid down for when we do our expansion in the future. 
and don't mind all these, all like the ramps and uh, you know nothing. Nothing cosmetic is final in this. I just wanted to get it running and going because it's very late and I've been doing this forever. Yeah, like this power pole. It, yeah, just ignore all that. That's all temporary. All right, let's see. So you've got your water. Nice. Water is all set. Now it's just waiting on the coal. But man, let me tell you, this was a project and a half. This is a very bare bones and janky looking coal power plant. And I probably spent a good 10 hours building it just from the trying to design it and then making sure everything was lined up and fixing mistakes. So, this has been quite a process, to say the least. Alright, so it's almost here. Oh yeah, actually, I didn't show the, conve uh, the conveyor, uh, conveyor belts for the coal off. Basically, I just have them coming down here. And then I've got this central one feeding these four plants. And then I've got these going off on either side feeding four plants. This one feeding four plants. And... Everything should be hunky-dory. Now let us go see if our coal is making it into our plants. It should be arriving right now-ish. Oh, still not yet. See, I see it coming. Which that reminds me, I gotta make sure that... Okay, that's definitely a Mark II belt. To make sure we don't screw that up. I think these should be all butt to butt. If they were, we might have screwed something up here along the way. Let me just double check that these are all Mark II builds. Oh wait. Uh huh. We indeed messed it up. Alright, there we go. So, another mistake found. Looks like the rest of them should be okay. I have solved the last issue with the coal power plant. I forgot to overclock this miner, so it was only doing the 60 a minute instead of 120. But now, as you can see, this line is very full, and all of that coal is making its way over to the coal power plant so everything should be running hunky dory I think the it's had long enough to get its way all the way here some time has passed and it looks like everything is filtering through properly and the whole coal power plant is now running at peak efficiency. So that means we are generating 1800 megawatts of power out of here. It is glorious. And this has taken a long time to get going, but it was worth it. Anyways guys, that's gonna have to do it for today's episode, so I thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.